lay the bike on its left hand side and make sure to put a container under the bike to catch any fluids that might drain. Press down on the rear brake caliper to release the brake pedal. Pull down on the brake pedal to move it away from the clutch cover. Use a screwdriver to secure the pedal. Remove the clutch cover being sure to note the length and location of the bolts as they are removed. Now remove the pressure plate. Start by removing the pressure plate bolts and springs. Remove the pressure plate. Next, remove the throw out. With the bike in gear, use a socket and an impact wrench to remove the center clutch nut. Remove the washer under the clutch nut. Grasp the inner hub and pull to remove the hub and clutch pack at the same time. If the basket tangs are notched or worn, replace the clutch basket before continuing the installation. Replace the thrust washer. Then install the recluse inner hub. Install the recluse lock washer. Make sure the tabs of the washer align with the holes on the hub. Reinstall the OEM clutch nut. Torque the nut to the specifications listed in your manual. Use a pair of channel lock pliers to bend up both tabs of the lock washer around the nut. The tabs can be bent on the straight sides or around the corner of the nut. Next, install the basket sleeves into the clutch basket slots. Make sure that the tabs of the sleeves face the inside of the basket and sit all the way down in the slot. Install all of the basket sleeves into the clutch basket. Soak the EXP and friction discs in new oil for 5 minutes. Make sure the EXP and friction discs are coated on both sides. When installing the clutch pack, refer to the setup sheet included in your kit for the correct order. First, install one steel drive plate onto the center hub. Insert the EXP disc into the clutch basket. Add a steel drive plate. Follow the steel drive plate with a recluse thin friction disc. Alternate steel drive plates with friction discs for the entire clutch pack. Add the pressure plate onto the clutch basket. You will install the throwout after adjusting the ring. Your kit comes with pressure plate screw sleeves, pressure plate springs, and socket head cap screws. The screw sleeve fits into the spring, and then the cap screw is inserted. Install all of the assembled springs into the pressure plate. Unlock the locking pin by pushing the pin down and turning a quarter turn until the spring releases. Use a screwdriver to turn the ring counterclockwise until the ring stops with moderate pressure. Check the ring and make sure it is tight against the pressure plate. Use a marker to mark the ring and the hub across from any one of the circle detents. Remove all of the pressure plate springs and the pressure plate. Turn the ring one full turn counterclockwise and return to the original mark on the hub. Continue to adjust the ring according to the directions in your install manual. Lock the pin by pushing the pin all the way down and turning it a quarter turn. Install the throwout. Reinstall the pressure plate, including any plates that may have stuck to the back. Install your OEM gasket, then install the recluse clutch cover being sure to install the bolts into the proper location. Tighten the bolts in small increments in a star pattern. Adjust the inline cable and perch adjuster to readjust stock lever free play.